Hello from Aerospace Bristol, the final stop in the Gromit Unleashed 2 trail. Now, it's the third time that Nick Park's award-winning characters have taken to the streets and subsequently made several millions of pounds for charity. And it's here, beneath the wings of Concord, another one of the Southwest's most famous exports, that the more than 60 statues will be sold to the highest bidder. Now, this past summer was one of the hottest on record, meaning perfect conditions for hundreds hunting down the statues of Gromit, his best pal Wallace, and even his arch nemesis, Feathers McGraw. Now, so far, the Ardman Trails have raised an astonishing £6 million for charity, and this auction is expected to take that total to new heights. The trail featured 67 giant sculptures designed by people not just from the art world in locations all across Bristol and the surrounding areas, drawing in practically hundreds of thousands of people to catch a glimpse of each and every one, totaling 34,000 days of sculpture searching and covering a combined distance of 1.25 million miles over two months. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. Also this year, sculpture hunters were able to donate using contactless technology whilst on the trail. So we really are expecting to see staggering amounts of cheese. And by cheese, I'm obviously meaning money raised for the Grand Appeal. Now, this is the charity that has provided support for Bristol Children's Hospital across the last two decades. We'll hear the gavel strike many times and see that total continue to rise. So stick with us here on Bristol Live and we'll have all the action from right here at Aerospace Bristol as Gromit goes to auction. Well, the auction is well underway. Richard Madley is commanding the crowd and pulling in some massive sums. Now I'm here with Nicola, uh, who is the director of the Grand Appeal. Now we've seen some incredible sums so far this evening. We have to mention the Emperor, who was uh, originally in Broadmead, that beautiful Feathers McGraw. What did that go for in the end? I think it went for about 38,000 in the end. Absolutely amazing. And the room just exploded when he put his hammer down. I think there's a different atmosphere in this room than you'd find at any other auction. It's almost like everyone's playing some sort of party game. There's such a camaraderie there, even though people are fighting for these skulls. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a bit more than past the parcel. It's kind of <laughs> past the auction number, you know, up to the auctioneer. We're getting so many bids online from around the world. It's absolutely amazing. The atmosphere in the room is really commanding. You know, it's, it's a fun night and we're raising lots of money for the Grand Appeal, which is the important thing. Just in the short time that Richard's been up there, the, the sort of sums that are appearing and coming from his mouth, they're, they're being normalised and that's scaring me because this is a lot of money. It's a huge amount of money and just think what we can do with that money. We can save more lives and support sick children at Bristol Children's Hospital and I think that's another one that while we've been talking has just gone from about 18,000 so absolutely amazing. And also remember that the Grand Appeal is a Bristol Children's Hospital charity. We provide all round support to the hospital. Research, medical equipment, arts, music and play, family accommodation. So the money's going to be spread across a whole big breadth of funding requirements that the hospital have. Well, Nicola, thank you very much. But don't forget, it's not just the big spenders in here that have been flashing their cash that have helped the Grand Appeal. It's everybody that came out on the trails and donated with their contactless cards and mobile phones. But do stay tuned to Bristol Live. We'll have all the action from the auction coming up in a bit. Well, it's tonight under the wings of Concord that Gromit will go to auction. For two months, these sculptures were scattered all across Bristol and the surrounding areas, and they drew crowds. We're talking big crowds. Literally hundreds of thousands of people travelled to the southwest to see these incredible giant statues of Gromit, his pal Wallace, and his arch nemesis, Feathers McGraw. Now, if we're talking, if we're talking in totals, the people that came sculpture searching were sculpture searching for 34,000 days, covering a combined distance of 1.25 million miles. So people really put some work in, but that work doesn't finish because tonight, the 400 people who have registered to attend the auction and the many people who will be bidding online will be flashing the cash, hoping to bag a grommet, hoping to take one of these incredible statues home. Now, these statues have been designed by notable local people, also artists, and there's some pretty crazy ones out there. We've just seen uh, over there a grommet with his face through a painting. We can see the classic Wallace there 
holding his cup of tea. But these really are one of a kind and will go for some big money tonight. Now, the past Ardman Trails have raised a total of £6 million for the Grand Appeal so far. I'm going to smash that target tonight because, remember, some of the sites of the statues have had contactless donations. And even when they were at Cribs Causeway at the greatest dog show on earth, there was the contactless donation uh, uh, technology there. So we really are going to see some staggering totals. They haven't got a, a final total for the contactless donations yet, but I've been assured that they are in the thousands. So it's tonight when these statues will find a new home and raise some staggering sums of money for the Grand Appeal. Well, that's it. Two Bowie bins here at 24 Well, the more statues that go under the gavel, the more eye-watering the sums become. I'm here with Peter Lord, patron of Wells and Gromit's Grand Appeal, and of course from Ardman Animations. Tonight must be a very exciting night, the third trail we've had, and it's just become such a massive occasion, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, t it's completely amazing, yeah. I mean, I'm, obviously I'm thrilled, of course, you know, because it's doing its job, right? Which is raising money for a great cause. But um, the sort of just the love in the room is great and the enthusiasm in the bars is amazing. But that, that, I guess, is what it's all about. It's so multifaceted. There's so many things about the trail, yeah. about the auction and about the merchandise yeah. that just touches so many people. You can feel the excitement here in the room the whoops and cries. You wouldn't get that at a normal auction, would you? No, I don't, you, you wouldn't, no, no. And people are really into it, aren't they? Really passionately, you know. And, and they see things they they particularly recognise. Obviously, some are, some are sort of more iconic than others. And the funniest thing, just the simple ones, there's just Wallace, Gromit and Feathers in their traditional colours. They've, they've, they've made a load of money, haven't they? I mean, I... Gromit over 40 thousand pounds right, i stopped counting after a while but it's those three are probably about 100 grand just for those three characters and you know and honestly this is this is also a great charity i mean i know it's you know they raise money for the children's hospital to to, to buy life-saving equipment and make life better for kids in hospital so there's no, what's not to like you know it's fantastic and the charity, the Grand Appeal that, that runs it, they're, they're really smart, you know, they're smart. I'm just really, uh, you know, proud and happy to be involved. Well, I think it's a job well done for all. There's much more money to be raised, but Peter Law, thank you very much for talking to us. Great pleasure. Thank you. And there we go, another Gromit sold. This one for an incredible £15,500. Now, this is just one of the more than 60 statues that will go under the gavel tonight. We've got Gromits, we've got Wallaces, and even their arch nemesis, Feathers McGraw. Now, all of these statues have been displayed across Bristol and the surrounding areas for two months. And literally hundreds of thousands of people have travelled to see them from all corners of the globe, never mind the country. Now, they're all coming to see the Wallaces, the Gromits and the Feathers, but of course, this is all about raising money for charity, the Grand Appeal, the charity that supports Bristol Children's Hospital. So far, the Gromit uh, Ardman Trails have raised an incredible £6 million for the Grand Appeal, and we're going to smash that at this particular auction. This is the third Ardman Trail so far, and it is by far the biggest. There's some incredible uh, sculptures made by some very, very exciting people. And we've had some of the more surprising high price items. We had the Emperor, who you might have seen whilst you were shopping in Broadmead. That went for a whopping 38,000 pounds. But there's something special about this evening. It doesn't feel like your average auction. You can hear them giggling and laughing and gasping behind me. This is a fun night. And <laughs> there's lots of money being flashed about, but that money is being drawn out of all these eager bidders by Richard Madley, who's just sold Amazing Grace for £17,000. So a lot of money is being raised tonight here at Aerospace Bristol for the Grand Appeal.